What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated two division world champion, who's the reigning WBC middleweight world champion, superstar boxer Jamal Lyons only Charlo. 32 wins, no loss, no draw, 22 big wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 32 years of age, six foot one with a 74 inch arm age. The last time we saw Jamal Charlo in the ring was June of 2021 when he took on defeated one Montiel Montel. Montiel, right? Via unanimous decision. With that said, Jamal Charlo hasn't been active in the sport of boxing. He suffered a back injury. He was supposed to fight June of this year, uh, which is um, uh, uh, um, Juneteenth weekend. And it was supposed to be in hometown of Texas against uh, um, Macy Selecki, right? Uh, he suffered a back injury and was pulled from the fight. And we have not seen uh, Jamal Charlo back in the ring, but it's being reported that Jamal Charlo is possibly going to be back in the ring in February. And it looks like he's going to revisit the fight with Macy Selecki. Okay. Uh, so with that said, um, you know, it, it's Jamal Charlo. We want to see him more active. Very good fighter, you know, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, nobody wants to see his talent on the shelf. Nonetheless, Jamal Charlo is in the headlines indirectly because of a hip hop entertaining mogul icon in Kanye West, better known today as Ye. Kanye West, uh, if you don't know who Kanye West is, you may, may have been living under a rock, but Kanye West has been going back and forth with, obviously he had his uh, um, Yeezys and he had a um, relationship and a partnership with Adidas and then Adidas partnership with Balenciaga, right? Uh, so Balenciaga was in some hot water as of late because uh, they have some hidden messages in, in shoes uh, that supports, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, things I don't even want to mention and um, child pornography. And on top of that, you know, um, uh, uh, it's just a lot going on. You know, the, the images and the photos, they okayed, which they came out and they stated that, you know, uh, they never okayed it and that they are looking to take um, the uh, um, the promotional, uh, uh, the network or whomever, you know, uh, that, creates their, uh, um, you know, their looks and, you know, things of that nature. They're looking to take them to court and sue them for $20 million. But nonetheless, Jamal Charlo is a model for um, Adidas and Balenciaga, right? And Kanye West went on an absolute tangent yesterday, you know, uh, going in on many different topics as he does daily. Uh, he even threw uh, NBA legend, future Hall of Famer, Chris Paul under the bus saying that Chris Paul was with uh, his wife and, you know, um, his wife or former wife or, you know, ex-wife or whatever it is and uh, Kim Kardashian, right? So uh, uh, he went on a tangent yesterday, but he used the images of Jamal Charlo. <laughs> So uh, uh, he called himself, I don't know if he was apologizing to Balenciaga for the rant he went on because he uh, went on a rant about Balenciaga and, you know, uh, wanted to take them down and, you know, uh, saying that other celebrities should support taking them down uh, and the hidden messages he didn't allow, he didn't like. And Kim Kardashian even went in on Balenciaga and said she's going to do her investigations and she don't appreciate because she has children and she don't want that. Uh, image to be thrust upon them, you know, uh, but today Kanye West, he kind of like apologized to Balenciaga. I don't know if he was apologizing or he was calling himself exposing Balenciaga, right? But, you know, uh, he put up some posts uh, on his social media today and, uh, you know, uh, he was highlighting, you know, uh, Balenciaga, but he used the images of Jamal Charlo uh, to do so. Uh, I don't know if he meant to do that, if he knew uh, who Jamal Charlo is. I'm sure he's a fan of boxing. Uh, he has a, a, um, a close relationship with uh, Jay Prince, who is from uh, Houston. Uh, the Charlos are from Houston. 
you know, uh, and uh, Kanye West attends boxing matches with Jay Prince, so he should be definitely aware of who Jamal Charlo is. Maybe he didn't identify and realize that was him in the photos he used. But, uh, um, you know, if I'm Jamal Charlo, I, hey, listen, I'm asking, listen, man, can you remove me? Not? Jamal Charlo don't need to be added in none of that. You know, he don't need to be included in none of that type of uh, controversy that uh, Kanye West, you know, is having, you know, uh, um, upon him right now. We saw what happened with uh, Kyrie Irving, NBA champion, superstar, iconic future, Hall of Famer. Kyrie Irving, you know, uh, he retweeted some things uh, um, and obviously he was standing with uh, um, Kanye West on some matters. And uh, we saw how that play out. He ended up losing $4.6 million, being suspended, having to apologize because he retweeted about a movie, you know, uh, um, and he ended up having to apologize and losing uh, uh, $4.6 million. So a lot that came along with that. Uh, Jamal Charlo, who's looking to get his career resumed and back on track, he don't need that type of attention at all whatsoever. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I, I don't know if, again, like I said, you know, Kanye West called himself apologizing and denouncing, you know, uh, cancel, cancel culture uh, when, you know, when it comes to including uh, um, Balenciaga and, you know, um, you know, God is the, the king. And, you know, he, he just went on his normal rant and tangent. But Jamal Charlo has been inactive. Jamal Charlo focus needs to be because it started to go. People started to send me multiple different photos uh you know and these kanye west uh, uh um you know uh, uh post they get millions of views you know millions of people and so people started asking who's the the model in the picture and then uh obviously fans of the sport of boxing that are, are paying attention to what's going on with kanye west and the balenciaga situation they start to say hey man that's jamal charlo you know uh you know, and then, you know, fans started to say, hey, man, you got a black man representing Balenciaga and look what Balenciaga is doing. So, you know, it's just unwarranted attention that that'll be thrust upon Jamal Charlo, man. If I'm Jamal Charlo and his team, I'm going to politely ask Kanye West, hey, man, can you remove that photo? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I again, like I said, I don't know if he because the, the picture that he used of Jamal Charlo is a picture of Jamal Charlo in Adidas. Uh, uh, jumpsuit, you know, uh, um, as the, the similar jumpsuit that I have on right now, and uh, you know, that's the photo that Jamal Charlo is, is modeling, and everybody's going in, you know, so it's ironic. I, again, like I said, I don't know if he indirectly did this or he directly did it, I don't know uh, where he was going with it, you know, um, but he definitely did it, and he got Jamal Charlo plastered everywhere and now everybody's looking at Jamal Charlo so that's the world we live in in the celebrities right uh, but when as far as Jamal Charlo we saw Jamal Charlo um, you know standing with uh, Dimitri Bebo undefeated WBA light heavyweight world champion and uh, Jamal Charlo you know saying he wanted to fight Dimitri Bebo uh, and obviously that's not going to happen uh, not, not anytime soon Dimitri Bebo has other focuses he has he's uh focused on and um and as far as uh um uh um his next fight i'm hearing is going to be you know uh macy selecki the original opponent that he was supposed to fight in june of this year um but you know uh he pulled out you know the fight due to a, a reported back injury that he suffered you know um some people thought, hey, it's not even real. Or who knows, right? But nonetheless, you know, uh, Macy Selecki is uh, 30 wins, two losses, no draws, 11 wins by way of knockout. Uh, 33 years of age, six foot one with a 68 inch army. So it looks like uh, Macy Selecki and Jamal Charlo can resume their initial, original uh, plans, but just at a later date in February of 2023. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how this unfolds and plays out with Jamal Charlo. Uh, he was linked to a big fight with Jaime Munguia. That would have been a big fight for Jamal Charlo. But that fell through because Jaime Munguia is with 
Golden Boy and he's with the zone and they simply just don't want to share the pot, period. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.